Hey you guys, welcome to my end of the year inventory. Um, well, this is just my makeup collection. I'll probably do a separate videos with just the numbers, but I wanted you guys to see what I have. So I'm going to try to lock in my camera position. Um, that's my cat, Precious. <sighs> uh, she's hanging out with me today while I'm filming. So I'm going to try to zoom you guys in on the section that I'm talking about. I can't edit this video because I don't have the editing software right now. So we're just going to have to make do. <laughs> um, so I have two primers currently. I have the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer Travel Size. Um, this is, I think, $15, and I really like it, but I found, I used up a full size, got this size, and now I'm trying out another one. Precious, no. I love you, but no. Let's just keep you right there. Thank you, darling. And then I found this CoverGirl, let's try and focus on Precious, uh, CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. She's going to chill out now. <laughs> I have one corrector right now. It's a Becca sample. I have one concealer, which is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. If this will focus for me, thank you. I really like this concealer, but the shade range absolutely sucks. And then I have the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops in N10. This is my only foundation. Precious, stop it. Thank you. Um, so it's my only foundation currently. So I mix it in with my primer. That's not your spot, Precious. No, no, I'm trying to zoom you guys out. Okay. So for powder products... I have one loose powder and four pressed powders. This one's actually a banana powder by Essence. Um, I picked up the one heck of a blot because the kick-ass powder wasn't, uh, wasn't in stock. And I feel like I like the other one better. I'm so close to hitting pan on this. I can see the rings and everything. I don't know if that counts as pan because I can't see the silver. But um, I'm going to use this one up. For highlights, I currently have four, technically. I have some sample ones from Hourglass in Ethereal Light and Luminous Light. I really like Ethereal Light. I think I'm, I might get that one in a full size once I use up some highlights. I have the Becca Highlight in Pearl, which I have a nice little dip going. I want to try to hit pan on this one this year. I have the Anastasia Amorizi highlight. I just got this one like Black Friday. I'm trying to not glare, but it is beautiful. It's such a pretty shade. And then I have a liquid highlight. It's Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. So I want to use this. You can see that I, I really like this product. Um... But I want to get this one in the pearl shade because sometimes I don't want this like golden glow. Um, and then for bronzers, I have the Barrett Minerals Bronzer in Light. This is the invisible. Hi, you guys. You can see me. Um, but it's in the invisible one. I want to try to get some use out of this one. And I picked up, I have two bronzers currently. And then I picked up the Body Shop Honey Bronzer in Light Matte. Um, I used it today, so this is my first time using it. So I really like it, and I like the packaging a lot as well. I know some of like this kind of thing can freak some people out. Um, and then I have two contour shades. I have the Jordana Cream Bron or Contour Stick, and then I have the Kevin Aucoin Sculpting. Sculpting one. I really like this, but it's really expensive. 
feel like it's too expensive for what it is. And then I have one blush. It's the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink. Uh, I want to get more use out of this. It is my only blush. So, kind of excited to use that one up a little bit more. Going over here, I currently have four, five, six, seven, eight uh, palettes. That's what they're called. <laughs> I currently have eight eyeshadow palettes, four of which are Anastasia. Um, I am testing out this Makeup Revolution one. I have one other palette that I want to get, so my number might go up. I'm limiting myself to three palettes this year. So, yeah. Well, this one technically isn't a palette. It's four singles. And then my friend Canoe actually gave me this one. And she was so sweet. And I love it. I have one eyeshadow primer. It is the Milani eyeshadow primer. I really like that one. It's lasted me like six months. Um, <laughs> and then I have two setting sprays. I have three lip treatments. One of which is unopened. One I am currently using up. And then I can move on to one that my sister gave me that is open. And I also have two eyeliners, one unopened and one opened, so backup situation there. I have two mascaras. Um, I have a sample of the Hourglass Mascara that's not open, which is why it's still in the box. And then I have the Buxom Lash Mascara in Blackest Black. And I just cracked into this one for the new year. And I really like that one, and I bought it on sale, and I love it. Um, so I will, I think that's going to be my favorite mascara <laughs> for the time being. I've used up another tube of that as well and a sample size. I have two of the Essence Fiber mascaras, the Make Me Brows. One is open, one is not. Uh, this one's the open one. And then I have the Essence Clear Brow Gel and two of the CoverGirl Natural Lash ones, which I've used up one this year, earlier in the year, and then I've used up this one. So those are probably my favorite, and I like those a lot. Mm, let's see how I can do this. Oh, I got most of them in frame. So now you can't see it. I have a NYX lingerie in embellishment, I believe. Oh, honeymoon. So NYX honeymoon. I have a e.l.f. lip oil in pink kiss which I got recently. have the Urban Decay Naked Gloss. I have two CoverGirl lipsticks, which I haven't tried yet. I have the Urban Decay Comfort Matte in 66. I've heard it's very similar to Backtalk. I don't know because I don't have that one. I have a CoverGirl Katie Cat Matte in Sphinx, I think. It's the pink one. Urban Decay 1993. Stila Sample in Bocce, or the mini size. A Jordana lipstick. This is in... What's the shade? Matte Classy. I know that they have a pink tone version and they have a brown tone version for some reason. Uh... Oh, I knocked you guys over. I'm sorry. My cat decided to lay on my makeup. And then I have a Dose of Colors lipstick in Coral Crush liquid lipstick. I bought the Dose of Color ones when they were buy one, get one, and I thought that was a really good deal. Um, I have the Steel Lipstick in Fiery. Milani Best Red. Um, a friend gifted that to me. About a week ago. I have Stila in Vino, which is a dark berry. And then Stila Rubino, which is a really dark red. Lime Crime Cashmere. I love this lipstick formula. It is beautiful. And I want more of them. I just have too many right now. <laughs> but they, this is gorgeous. Um, stays on all day. Super comfortable. And I just love it. And then I have the Dose of Color Desert Suede. Which is 
pretty nice. I, I enjoy the color a lot, and the formula is great. It's a little bit drying than the than the Lime Crime, but it's not as drying as the Stila, so that's that. I really like those three lipsticks. And then I went ahead and swatched... If it'll focus... I swatched my lip colors in the order that I showed you guys, so first starting from here and then going down. And I just, I, you can definitely tell that I have a preference for my shades. Um, so yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the collection and hanging out with Precious. And I will have updated inventory and bullet journal videos and everything like that, including my goals and project plans for next year. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!